loves me, He loves you, He loves me, and give Jesus. Hi, I bless you in the name of Jesus. I just want to share the word of God with you, just to push you to hold on to Jesus, to not give up your faith, to love God. I'm going to share today in the book of Joshua 1 verse 8. I'm going to read this in the name of Jesus Christ from the Good News Bible. Be sure that the book of the law is always read in your worship. Study it day and night and make sure that you obey everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Verse 9. Remember that I have commanded you to be determined and confident. Don't be afraid or dis be discouraged. For I, the Lord, your God, I am with you wherever you go. So God is saying, make sure that this book, the Bible, read it day and night and observe. That means be obedient to the word of God. And the Lord say, I will be with you and I will strengthen you. I will be there. Whenever you need me and I will provide for you, I will protect you in everything. You need to know that God has given us his word. It's not for his own good. It's for our own protection. I will give you a simple example. When you go in the street upside there, you will see when there's a traffic light, that's red color and green color. The red color means danger. So if you see red color, if you are good, student that you obey the law you will stop and meaning you protect yourself but now if you say i don't care you cross the street the car will come and may destroy you it's the same with the word of god when you know the word of god and you say i don't care i don't want to follow god what will happen to you is the devil anytime can destroy you it's very important to worship god by and do what he asks us to do and i'm going to give you a many example let's say you are married you have wife or you have husband and you are cheating in your wife or your husband what will happen At the end of the day the family will be separated it's not the devil it's because you choose to not obey the word of god because the bible tells you shall not cheating okay if you go and steal something, the police will catch you, you will go to prison. If you have boyfriend or girlfriend, you're going to be a pregnant. And now, maybe you make abortion, kill the baby, the blood is already in your hand. So if you don't want to have all this problem, do not do evil. If you slap somebody, expect the person to call police to you and you will go to prison. When you don't obey God, you will suffer it's not god going to pay you're going to pay for your own rebellious the bible tell us john 3 16 for god so loved the world he gave his son if you put your trust in jesus you follow what jesus christ saying you will have eternal life jesus said if you love me obey my commandment so the gospel is not about saying i love jesus and the same time you are not doing what he asked you to do that means you don't know him and you don't love him so if you love jesus be obedient to the word of God. At the end of the day, you're going to be protected by God. When God tells you, do not touch something, and you touch, you will see that you're going to pay for that. It's not God going to pay. You're going to pay for what you are doing. You are disobeying God. So God didn't give us the law to destroy us, but God gave us the law to support us, to strengthen us. When you are wise, you submit yourself to God, and God will protect you the peace of god is not about having money it's about understand the meaning of this life remember everything you do one day will turn against you if you do good you will receive a blessing for the good deed if you do evil also one day you will pay for that if you kill somebody you will go to prison or maybe they will kill you if you go and steal you will go to prison if you take the wife of somebody or the husband of somebody expect somebody may be killing you or maybe, you know, anything can happen. Submit yourself to God and God will protect you. Our Heavenly Father is there for us. His word is good. 
if it's hard pray ask god to give you the grace to do it but do not say i don't want because when you don't follow the law of god you pay for that your friend will not pay i give you one example you will see that right now you are trying because of something that you have done in the past that you're supposed to not do it maybe god tell you in the past to not marry with this person you say i don't care i want to marry with the person today your marriage is broke you know why because you disobey god god tell you to not sleep with the man or woman if you are not married you say i don't care today you have baby we know you don't have father maybe god tell you do not smoke you say i don't care i want to smoke today you are taking drug and you cannot even control your life you cannot control anything around you because you disobey god but if you listen to god you don't do that you will have a, you your life today will be like a light shining but it's not get late if you have learned your lesson you can see turn to god and say lord jesus i'm sorry i have made mistake i'm willing to come back home same like the prodigal son Turn to Jesus and ask him for forgiveness and follow his way. Read your Bible and do what God tells you to do. And the evil will not come close to you. But most people, they will make mistakes. They will keep doing the same mistake and expecting God to deliver them. No. Listen, the prodigal son, when he go, when he leave his father, he go outside. There is no God go there to find him. He come back in his sins. The Bible tells us he come back in his sins. He said, in the house of my father, there's a lot of food and protection. I will go to my father and say, I'm sorry. I have sinned against God and you. Please take me as your servant. The Bible tells us when the father see the son was coming back, the father run to the son. It's the same way if it today you say, Jesus, I want to come back home. The Lord will welcome you with a big hand and the lord going to make a party for you let the prodigal son but if you don't come back the devil will devour you one thing i want you to remember in this video is that the law of god is for you the law of god is good it for, it's for your own protection it's not for the protection of god god knows what is good and what is evil so choose what is good by submit to god may god bless you in jesus name amen